Medvedev urged to prepare for full occupation of Ukraine after signing peace with Kyiv. Russia needs to prepare to seize all of Ukraine after Moscow and Kyiv sign a peace treaty and end the war, said Deputy Chairman of the Russian Security Council Dmitry Medvedev. Even after signing the papers and accepting defeat, the remaining radicals in Ukraine will sooner or later return to power after regrouping their forces inspired by Russia's Western enemies. And then the time will come to finally crush the vermin, Medvedev wrote on his Telegram channel. According to him, at that moment, Russia will have to drive a long steel nail into the coffin lid of the Bandera quasi-state and also destroy the remnants of its bloody legacy and return the remaining lands to the bosom of the Russian land. But Russia's enemies will not go anywhere after this. They will gather strength and wait for a new convenient pretext to destroy our country. We must be ready for future battles to defend the fatherland, Medvedev emphasized. In June, Russian President Vladimir Putin said he was ready to end the war with Ukraine and sign a peace treaty if Kyiv withdrew its troops from the territories of Kherson, Zaporizhia, Donetsk and Luhansk regions not occupied by the Russian army and also refused to join NATO. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky called Putin's proposal an ultimatum and said he was ready to begin negotiations with Moscow tomorrow if Russia withdraws its troops from Ukrainian territory. He wants us to give up some of our occupied territories, but he also wants unoccupied territories. He talks about the regions of our country and is not going to stop. There will be no frozen conflict, Zelensky emphasized. He later acknowledged that Ukraine sees victory in the war with Russia differently than the United States and other Western countries. For the West, he said, victory is preventing Putin from completely occupying Ukraine and putting him in his place, while for Ukraine, victory is a moment of satisfaction. We are grateful that the West did not allow Russia to occupy us completely, but we need justice, the Ukrainian president explained. Fire has broken out in famous Rouen Cathedral in northern France on Thursday. According to the French Ministry of Culture, the cause of the fire may be mishandling at the restoration site of the cathedral's metal spire. Seine Maritime Prefecture reported that the fire broke out at the top of the spire, which is made of metal rather than wood, and restoration work is currently being carried out there. It is not yet known whether the wooden frame of the cathedral was damaged. Thick black smoke was filmed pouring out of its main spire in the late morning, in an area where renovation work was taking place. Rouen Cathedral is one of the national heritage sites of France. Fire engines are at the scene, and the cathedral has been evacuated, said an emergency services spokesman. The city's mayor, Nicolas Mayer Rossignol, took to X to say, a fire has started on the spire of Rouen Cathedral. Origin unknown at this stage. All public resources are mobilized.